What, what it do, do, Dream do. Team? It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie back with another reaction video. Here we are. Why an America moved to Australia and loves it, and why we might move to Australia. I'm just kidding, but we'll probably visit someday. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Talk to me. So today we're finally <clears throat> gonna talk about it. All right, so if you've been following along, my wife and I moved to Australia like two months ago, and I documented that process of really just my experience and what it was like to move from America to here. Now I'm living in this series of videos that I'm making about living in Australia. It's been a crazy few months, uh, been a crazy month, and during this time, I have been thinking about how to continue on this whole series. Uh, but before I did, I felt like there's been this question that I haven't answered and I've had it asked me several times literally I'm not kidding there was someone in my YouTube comments I don't know who you are well I actually do know but one of you literally <coughs> just asked me why like it was just you didn't ask me like why did you go to Australia you didn't ask, you just typed in the <laughs> you typed in the comment section just why <laughs> so I figured be good to answer the question of why I moved to Australia I just can't imagine getting on that plane, bro, like, and leaving behind, like, everything that you know, everyone that you know and love, family, friends, everything, to go start a new life in another country. Like, I think it's awesome, right. but I just can't imagine doing that. I know, it's like, don't get me wrong, I feel like there's a lot of things like that that I would want to do, like, yeah. even if it's still, like, in the U.S., and yeah. we moved, like, hours and hours and hours away, but... It's just crazy to think about leaving your family behind. I know. Which, I mean, obviously I know we're going to Texas, but that's still <laughs> scary to think about. <laughs> we're coming to Texas in about a, about a year and a half. Y'all going to see this, this fam in Texas, hopefully with a little baby, baby boy. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. So before I answer, I just wanted to give you a quick update. It's been two weeks since I posted my last video. And the reason is because Grace and I got married almost two years ago, two years this October. And before we were married, we obviously were dating. And that entire time of dating and marriage, I never met her brother. I met one of her brothers earlier this year and I still hadn't met one of her brothers. And he lives in Adelaide. So this past mm -hmm. week we took the 16 hour, well, uh, is a 14 -year -old. Oh, so I guess her family lives in Australia. She was probably from Australia, came to the U.S., they met, and then they decided to move to Australia, is what I assume. Hmm. <laughs> it ends up being over 16 hours from Sydney all the way to Adelaide. Road tripping in America and Australia are so different. I think maybe I'll make a video. If you want to see me make a video about road tripping in Australia versus road tripping in America, I think that'd be a cool idea. Then just comment below if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I, I went on this trip and got to hang out with and meet Grace's brother, which is really cool. Jonah, if you're watching, thanks for having me over at your house. Something happened on that trip that is pretty monumental for my YouTube channel because I've made a video about this in the past. If you haven't watched my video about me looking for a kangaroo and talking about how I've never seen one, that's right here. But I saw my first kangaroo. I lived here for two months and still hadn't seen a kangaroo. So we go out and we are driving up into the hills in Adelaide and he's just driving us around and he's determined to find a kangaroo. We're like determined to go find a kangaroo so I can finally see one. I live in Sydney so it's pretty impossible to see a kangaroo. I think in Sydney, maybe on the outskirts. If you're from Sydney, where's the spot mm. to see a kangaroo? Let me know. Yeah, in Adelaide we were driving up the hills. We went down this really like gravelly road. It was so beautiful, like so green. And we go down this path and we look over and I'm not kidding, it was like Jonah had seen them already but I didn't see them yet. But these like almost camouflaged into the background gray 
uh, kangaroos were just hanging out there. I'm gonna put that video right here. This is the first time I ever saw a kangaroo, mm. this, and my second because there's two of them right there. Yeah, it was amazing, and we just kind of drove and got to see them. If you're Australian, and you don't understand why it's like a significant thing for us. Obviously, it's because we've never seen one, but it's also just like. How often do you see a two-legged animal that stands and, and kind of leans on its back tail like that? It's just such a unique animal mm -hmm. for us. Like in yeah. North America, we have nothing like that at all. Facts. So I got to see them. Facts. But on the way back on our trip, we were driving out like early in the morning and my wife Grace was driving and this right here happened. I'll put a video of my third sighting of a kangaroo. <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty scary that we were yeah. driving. It was like 6 a.m. Oh. The sun's coming over the horizon and we're driving through really thin, really fast roads to Sydney. Out of the corner of her eye, she sees something hopping and she sees a kangaroo coming across, slows down from 110 kilometers per hour to, I think, like 40 and basically just saved us from hitting a kangaroo. And that was my Dang. third time seeing a kangaroo, so that was pretty scary. See, I was that, that is definitely scary. Over here, it would have been a deer that like shot out like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We, we we were literally on like the main road and we saw some out in the literally on the side of the road. It was my first time ever seeing a deer in person. Like that's crazy to think about, but I mean you come from Texas. So yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm from in Texas it's not really yeah, like no trees and all of that. Not for, really in place that deer so, would want to be. Exactly. Not a suitable environment for so, deer. So we were like And they probably get shot and killed. We were like a minute eight. out from where we live and we were on the main road. And then we look over and you see them in the grass and it's like a whole thing of them. Yeah. There's like at least like six or seven. It was cool. It was cool to look and see you. Yeah, he was like, where, where? As long as they're not running in front of the car, I could look at them all day. <laughs> I told him I needed to take him to the, uh, we call it like the battlefield down here. Yeah. And they're everywhere. Like, they will literally come up to your car and let you feed them. That's crazy. I'm not feeding you, but. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't stick your head in my car. I'd be trying to get him to take me to this, like, I don't know if it's necessarily a zoo, but you know, like, mm -hmm. them, um, the drive they have, like, pit. yeah, when they have, like, the drive through zoo yeah. or something like that, and you can, like, feed, like, um, giraffes and, mm -hmm. um, all these different animals. They give you, like, a whole bucket yep. of food, and you roll down your windows, and you drive through real slow, and you feed them. I want to go so bad. It's them. It, it'd be them big birds that scare me, like them ostriches and whatever you see on people TikToks. And they got their whole head in the car, bucket in your lap, and they turn the food up. <laughs> like they, they snatching a bucket out your lap, bro. Like they destroy it. You ain't going to have no food for the other animals. That's where I wanted to go when I visited him in Texas. Not the last time, but the time before that. Because the last time yeah. we moved you here. But... I wanted to go so bad, and he was not having it. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I'm just like, it's, them animals are dangerous. Because, like, I think me? we have something like that down here, but I think that's more maybe, like, on the Nashville, like, Knoxville side. Yeah. I think that's the closest one, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but we were right there in Texas. We were right there. I didn't know we had it in Texas. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just not. I'm t I see the TikToks and I know my heart would have a heart attack if that bird. You just trying to drive off and that bird ain't trying to pick his head up out your car and it's just all in your lap tearing up every <laughs> bit of food that you don't bought and snatching a bucket and. Mm mm. You said mm mm. Mm mm. That's scary. <laughs> we gonna do it. I was actually asleep <laughs> in the passenger side and I I was fully like knocked out with my, I had a beanie over my eyes and I just feel a car like come to a dead slam and I look up and there's a kangaroo hopping in front of me. Um, and yeah, so luckily that wasn't uh, my first time seeing one, but also luckily my third one wasn't one that I hit. I've been yeah. getting a lot of questions about us moving to Australia and why we did. And before I tell you why I did, I think there's a lot of reasons why someone would move to Sydney and why someone would move to Australia in general. A lot of people have been kind of a, saying what they think is the reason why we moved like are we moving because we wanted to get out of america are we moving just to enjoy sydney are we moving um, here to get like free health insurance yeah i think it's just a lot, a lot of curiosity 
around this question. So yeah, which one of these is that answer? And honestly, it's none of these. When Grace and I got married, we knew that it was gonna be pretty decisive pretty quick. Like we were gonna need to make some decisions about where we needed mm -hmm. to be. You know, do we wanna live in Australia or America? So we were making those decisions right before I asked Grace to marry me. I actually sold my car, sold it to buy her an engagement ring, bought the engagement ring, and our plans were to kind of like stick around college, maybe get a job at the college, and then kind of work our way into our uh, respective careers. And COVID hit, literally my our mm. last semester, um, in March of our last semester at college, we both had to decide whether we were gonna go to Australia or go to America, and we weren't even engaged at this point. What we did is I, I called my parents and she called her parents and we just talked all through it. And we ended up deciding to come to North Carolina where I'm from and where my family is. And we spent two years there and it was great. It was an amazing, amazing time. Um, I got to start out in my career and Grace got to, you're on my family. We got to spend time with my family a lot over those last two years. But something that started to kind of develop in those two years was obviously Grace missing her family. And it wasn't that we chose to like live away from them. It's that we were kind of forced to live away from them. Mm -hmm. So we had intended in, on me meeting her family before we got married and then having them at our wedding. None of that happened. We had to have our wedding in quarantine. And wow. yeah, it just became really apparent over the last two years, especially the last year that Grace wanted to be around her family as we were kind of deciding through that, as we were thinking through that. And it was right around then that an organization that Grace's parents work for actually wanted to open up a coffee shop cafe in Sydney, literally in the inner west in Sydney. And so we talked to them about it and we liked the idea, we liked the vision, we liked all that they wanted to do. We loved the organization and what they stood for. And so back, uh, it must have been in a year and some change ago, we decided that we were going to come on to this organization, come to Australia and open up a coffee shop or cafe in Sydney. So that's the reason we moved here. The reason we moved here is to open up this coffee shop or this cafe, um, whichever one you call it, in Sydney, in the inner west. And so that's what we're doing. So I'm not a YouTuber, obviously. I don't have that many subs, but this is what I'm doing. I'm, me and Grace are partnering and opening up a coffee shop under this organization in the inner west. And so I'm gonna maybe document. I think that's so cool that they decided to just go there, open up their own coffee shop. Like that's really dope. Anybody who goes into like opening or creating something, like I just I don't know, I find myself inspired by that. Yeah. And so that's really awesome. I find myself inspired just for, from people who just do what they did and yeah, just move so just far take away. Risk. You know what I'm saying? And take their risk. Of moving so far away from family. Yeah. Like, or your the, own family. Yeah. And even if they went and she didn't have family there. Yeah. The people do that all the time. In the beginning, it was like she took the risk by going to North Carolina with his family for two years. And now mm -hmm. she got started missing her family a lot. So they decided, hey, let's come back to Australia. And now he's taking the risk, leaving his family in a whole new country. and so. But I feel like we I took like a that. risk. We did. I moved 12 hours away from my family. Mm -hmm. And then in a year and a half, I'm moving 12 hours away from my family for you. So. I feel like that's. That is. That's a risk. That is a risk. Yeah. I'm telling you. Both we, moving away from our family. I'm telling you, we're going to vlog when we move to Texas because <laughs> she going to be in tears. Her mama going to be in tears. Her whole family going to be in tears. We're going to end up back over there. <laughs> Oh, we are. Oh. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh. <laughs> we'll see about that in the future. Later down the line. We already know once we have a baby. Hopefully, we can get rich enough and have a house in both states. <laughs> and I'm going to be over here. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, time to go to Texas, Kenzie. Let's roll. Let's roll. But uh, he only got 30 seconds, so we're going to let him finish. I'm going to bring you in on... That journey we've never done a business before and so yeah we're gonna, we're gonna so bring cool. you along in that journey before i end this video go like go comment i'll see you next time thanks for stopping by shout out there man I, you know what i love he sold his car to get her an engagement ring bro mm -hmm. that's 
that's inspirational. That's special, bro. That's I I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Y'all it. tell Darian to get me one. Soon in due time. In due time. <laughs> <laughs> that's been on three years over here. <laughs> it's cool. We only lived together for like six months though. But we are going on three years of dating. We are long distance for two and a half years, which is crazy. I would have never thought I'd last in a long distance relationship. Me ever. either. Honestly. We made it happen and here we are today. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With like no struggles. Yeah. Besides just not being able to see each other. Exactly. Which is rare. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we just came together perfectly because like most, I mean, it's rare that long distance relationships work. Like it happens, but like it's rare that they actually work out and two yeah. people end up together forever. Yeah. Especially because like trust is huge when yeah. you're that far apart Facts. for so long. But I, I mean, ne- we've seen each other, what, like, every three months? Yeah. But I've never once not trusted you, though. Like, mm-hmm. I trusted from day one to, to the end. I was like, I didn't, you never give me a reason to not trust you, so. Right. And I was the same way. I mean, I never not trusted you. Yeah. We never argued about, like, what are you doing? Or... Uh-uh. We just told, like... I would I would ask how she felt about stuff like hey like the bros invited me to uh, a party or like uh, they want to get together I'd be like you cool with that she'd be like you don't need to ask like go ahead that's that's fine right because I just tried to explain to him that like I'm not gonna hold you back from doing anything I yeah. mean I just have to trust that you're not gonna do anything that would jeopardize us exactly and if you do then you don't want us bad enough yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, same. the same applied to her. I trusted her to go out and do stuff. As long as it wasn't with no boys. Right. You but you know, if y'all want to know a little bit more about us, you know, we got a podcast coming up. Yes. We're going to be starting a podcast channel. Uh, so, and then once we start it and once we get up our podcast, we'll start dropping the links in maybe the comment sections on these videos so you guys can come over there. And then we'll put the channel on our, like, uh, this channel will to where you can be able to click on this channel and then go to our other channel and mm-hmm. see what that's like. Y'all can send us questions you would like to know. Yeah. Give us some debates. It's going to be fun because we both like talking, like, about certain new things. And we both just like to talk in general, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Y'all come join us. Please. But that's all we got. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up. We out.